Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil and today is super exciting for me because I have a brand on the channel that has never been on the channel before. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at two new guitars for 2022. This is from the Chapman Guitars Standard Series. Now there's a bit of a story to this. Basically I was on my Instagram one day just scrolling around and some pictures came up of some guitars that had ash tops on them and for those of you that don't know me very well i am a big sucker for ash bodied guitars and ash tops as you guys know when new gear comes out if i like it i make a video about it so i made a short video about the new guitars and chapman guitars reached out to me and said would you like to try some out for the channel and obviously i said yes before we get the guitars out of the box and take a look at them i just want to say that I've never had anything to do with Chapman guitars before. The only time I've ever played a Chapman guitar was once I played a Chapman Ghost Fret. I think it was a pro model and it was an absolutely fantastic guitar. I totally love that guitar. And when Chapman guitars decided to discontinue the Ghost Fret, I was pretty gutted and to be honest, I've not really looked at Chapman guitars again since that guitar got discontinued because for me it was just amazing. The satin finish on there, the top, the fade on the top and everything about that guitar. It was really nice, it was a refreshing guitar. I like Explorer shapes anyway. So yeah, I was pretty gutted and pretty surprised as well actually when they dropped that model. The next time I played a Chapman guitar, again, it was only for a brief few moments. It was someone else's guitar I was just jamming on. That was an ML2, but it was the old ML2 shape, the old ML2 design. And I really liked that guitar actually. It felt really nice on the strap and everything. I was stood up playing it and I've played a few riffs and it felt great. And apart from those two moments I've never had anything else to do with Chapman guitars until now. So without further ado let's get on with it let's crack these boxes open let's check out the Chapman guitars standard series for 2022. So here we have the two guitars they're both in one box but I'm expecting them to be boxed separately inside hopefully. Uh, we'll crack this open unfortunately I'm only armed with you know like a butter knife today because I'm that well prepared and a total YouTube professional obviously. Come on. Let's see these bad boys. Oh. That's a lot of bubble wrap. So there we go. Oh, what's going on? So I don't know which one is, don't fall. <laughs> Woo. Don't know which one is which here. Yeah, like I said, one is the ML1 and one is the ML2. One is a single cut, woo, and one is um, a super strap shape. So yesterday I checked out these two guitars on the Anderton's website and you can pick up the ML2, this exact model that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Uh, you can pick that model up, I think it's 599, so just under 600 pounds on the Anderton's website. And the ML1, which is a super strap shape, that guitar you can pick up at 549, 569, I can't remember, one or the other. If you want to pick those guitars up, please go down there below in the description because I am now an Anderton's affiliate, which I'm extremely happy about because Anderton's is one of those stores that I've ordered from previously that has never let me down. I think the customer service is really on point. And more importantly, if you want any advice, if you're buying a piece of gear that you're unsure about the spec or whether it will do what you want, then Andertons have always helped me out, especially with a lot of my studio gear for recording, you know, interfaces and things like that. If I've wanted to know anything techie, um, they've always got back to me pretty quick. So that's really important, that affiliate link down there for me. And obviously when you go through that affiliate link, it does help support the channel. Right, so let's get into the first guitar. I feel pretty nervous, actually. I think it's because it's a new brand that I've not had much to do with. Okay, guys, so first of all, let's check out this one here. It says ML2 on it. I can't wait to see this guitar because this is the first one of the new standard series from Chapman Guitars that actually caught my eye and made me and made me uh, make the video which got the attention of Chapman Guitars, which put me in touch with them. So I just want to say, first of all, I've covered this in other videos and I've said this before, so I feel a bit like a broken record. But what I want to say is how hard it is nowadays to make a headstock that is visibly 
uh, appealing to, uh, and also that suits the guitar that it's on because it's all been done before type of thing you know there's lots of headstocks out there it's really hard to make an original nice headstock but i do love this headstock on the ml2 it's a nice shape it's uh you know it's a cross between kind of a prs and and uh, you know it's, it's very it's, it's a bit prs -y and i like prs there great the finish on the neck by the way feels absolutely gorgeous very 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 buttery oh it's gorgeous that is a gorgeous looking uh that is a gorgeous looking guitar right there so the pickups in this guitar are chapman zero pickups there's something zero but i can't remember what the hell the word is but it's quite a long word probably one that i can't say it's not massively heavy like some single cuts it's not massively light either though but this is nice this to me feels like the type of guitar the a super strat type of player you know that playability and that comfort of a super strat this guitar feels like it's got that but in kind of a single cut body design somehow the the finish on the neck is very charvelli you know uh, it's very buttery very very smooth these guitars are made in indonesia the standard series is made in indonesia and i think the pros are made in the korean factory i don't like sharp frets and these are totally smooth as in, I've had frets sharper than these that are on seven, eight, nine hundred pound guitars. They are totally rounded off and they feel great. Whether that's something that Chapman did before this guitar was sent to me, I don't know. I do know these guitars have been to another YouTuber first. I can't remember exactly who it was, but you're not going to get them any more rounded off than that. They are, they are perfect. The frets, which I'm surprised about at this price point, obviously, you know, like this is what, 599 did I say? The scale length is 25.5 inches. So it's super strap scale length. I am quicker actually on a 24.75 scale length. And on a single cut, that's what you'd expect. But I think, honestly, I think this guitar is aimed at the type of player that likes a modern super strap feel but wants that feel in a single cut shape yeah um i'm going to show you the back of the guitar now because as you guys know i love satin i don't like gloss guitars i'm going to be honest and this has a lovely uh black satin back to it i've just been to the gym so i've got the shakes a bit but it's a satin black back the top on it i hope that this looks as good on the video as it does in the flesh to me because it looks better quality actually in the flesh in real life than it does on the thumbnails that i've seen on the website and on instagram and everything so if you like the way it looks on the thumbnails on the chapman website and everything then you will be pretty happy if you decide to buy this guitar and receive it because it looks better in real life to me 24 frets I like 24 frets on all my guitars. <clears throat> I don't know why, because <laughs> I don't actually go this high ever, to be fair. I can't remember the last time I even touched the 24th fret, but I do like to have 24 frets on there, regardless of scale length. I'm not sure if this is coil tapped. Knowing Chapman guitars, it probably is uh, a coil tap. It is. So you can split the coils there uh, for those guys that want that stratty type tone. Uh, which will be handy when you're using it for cleans. I only really use single coils when I'm playing clean for that uh, nice snappy, snappy single coil tone. Like I said, made in Indonesia. And I want to say something about this guitar that I love. And that is that there's no pickup surrounds on there. I'm not a massive fan of pickup surrounds. However, what I will say is that single cuts are in my mind the only shape, body that pickup surrounds actually look okay on. I don't like them other than if they're on a single cut. Um, I don't really want much plastic on my guitar. So I just want to say something about the nut on this guitar. This is a Graf Tech nut on there. And I think that's great. On a 500, 600 pound guitar, to put a Graf Tech nut on there, that tells me that Chapman Guitars care about nuts and care about us as guitarists because cheap plastic nuts that you can find on some guitars they almost feel like they are made out of the same plastic as like action man's hand or something it really soft really horrible and you can't file them this is what's important a lot of players now play with heavier gauges in in lower tunings you know i play in drop d a lot and i use 48s which do fit in most nuts 
But when you go to drop C or in your low and you want your 52s or 54s or even 60s, if it's a cheap plastic nut, then you have no chance. What's going to happen is you're going to try and file it and you can file it if you're super, super careful. I've done it before to get your strings in there. However, a slight knock and even just too much tension sometimes can shear off the, the ends of the nuts, snap them off. Uh, it's particularly common on bases if they use cheap nuts. So massive high five, uh, massive credit to Chapman Guitars for recognizing that we need good nuts on our guitars. You know, I mean, that is the one of the main points of contact, well, it is the second only main point of contact between the strings and the guitar. There is no point putting a cheap nut on a guitar, in my opinion. I think they're okay on beginner guitars. I call beginner guitars like 300, 400 pounds-ish. But these guitars, obviously, 500 pounds upwards, and I'm expecting some kind of nut like a Graph Tech on there, not some cheap plastic garbage. So, yeah, huge... Uh, Huge, massive high five to Chapman Guitars for putting on a decent nut on this guitar. Nice to see that he's stuck with his original logo there and not changed it. Um, by the way, while we're talking about Chapman Guitars, while we are unboxing these, I'll just put this to the side now. It's, uh, it looks beautiful. I can't wait to play it. The action, by the way, is super low on this. It feels like it's going to be fast. And the neck feels like, I say, like, it feels like a Charvel, like a Super Strat. I'm going to bob it down here now on the stand while I open the other guitar, which will be the ML1. I think it's important to say as well about Chapman Guitars or any brand that comes on the channel, I always like to fill you in on what it's been like dealing with the brand. Because if you're buying stuff from a shop and not dealing with a brand directly, you only get to really find out what the, the store is like. You don't actually get to find out what the people who work at the brand are like. And this is something that to me is really important. Like I won't deal with brands on the channel if they're not nice to deal with, you know, there's some brands that I just won't have anything to do with because uh, they're not nice people to deal with. Uh, Chapman guitars from the word go have been fantastic to deal with. Very chatty, uh, you know, it's a bit like I'm dealing with a guy called Dan. Hi Dan. Um, and basically it's like talking to another guitar buddy, you know, just a friend, you know, he's very down to earth, very chatty. He's filled me in right back from September, the beginning of September, on where we're at with getting the guitars out, right to the point where I've been talking to him daily almost this week, and he's been filling me in on the guitars and uh, filling me in on where we're at getting them over to be used on the channel. So, yeah, massive high five to Chapman Guitars as well for basically being very nice people to deal with, you know. So, yeah, just thought I'd get that in there because uh, I deal with a lot of brands that I really like and I don't deal with brands that I don't, basically. If I'm promoting gear, I guess that's what I am really doing, promoting gear. I like to think that the brand has nice people working there, you know, like Black Star Amps, Zoom Audio, uh, Two Notes, Sonic Cake, Moore, you know, they've all, they're all top brands with nice people there, and they are a pleasure to deal with, and Chapman Guitars is no different. So let's unbox the ML1, that's enough chit chat. Whoa. I wonder if the neck will be the same on this with it being from the same series or whether it will be different. Like I say, I don't know that much about Chapman guitars. So the headstock here, this is interesting for me. I'm not having a go at Chapman guitars here um, because who cares anyway about a headstock that much. But it's very, it's a bit telecasterish for me, this headstock, um, which is okay if you like that sort of headstock. I don't. There was a Chapman headstock I absolutely loved that was on the original Ghost Fret, which was green. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen now. And it was a bit pointy, you know, it was a bit uh, washburny at the time. And I really liked that headstock and it would be nice to see that again. But that's only my opinion, it's personal preference. You know, you don't stand there staring at a headstock when you're playing live anyway, do you? Let's face it. The neck on this is exactly the same finish, very buttery, feels very nice. Oh, that looks evil. So this neck is a bolt-on, whereas the ML2 is a set neck. The neck feels exactly the same finish as the ML2, very buttery, very uh, Chavel-like. I'm assuming that the nut on this guitar will be a Graph Tech nut as well. The top, I really like that. 
I actually like this guitar a hell of a lot more than I, I thought I would. These cutaways here on the horns, as on this guitar as well, as on the ML2, I just think little touches like that make guitars look more expensive than they actually are. The body is pretty thick on this guitar, which is nice. I like that. I like a hefty body on my guitar. There's another cutaway down here. Hope you can see that there. Again, this is a standard series, the same, made in Indonesia. Um, the tops on these, I'm, I'm wondering if these are pretty hefty, thick tops and not just a thin wafer veneer because where they've taped it off there, that's another little touch that I really like. I don't know if you can see that, but I really like this. I think just that look of, it's not binding, but it looks like binding. I just think it sets the guitar off really nice. So again, I hope this guitar looks as good as it does in the flesh because this looks awesome it looks evil it's got the coil split again on there and it's got the hardtail bridge the same bridge this guitar feels like it's going to play amazing the next by the way for the, the next shape is um it's like it feels like it's going to be fast but it's not wafer thin or anything you know, it's quite rounded. It's got quite a rounded uh, uh, feel to it. You know, a rounded C. It's, there's quite a lot of neck there. But it feels like it's still going to be fast. Again, action is low as hell on this, which I really like. I cannot wait to play these guitars. The next time you see these guitars, I will actually be plugging them in and playing them for you guys. I can't wait to do that. They both look... They both look great. I, I like them both a lot. I will try and get a Pro Series Chapman on the channel as well once we've had these, you know, a couple of months or so. I think I'm going to start a campaign <laughs> to try and get back the ghost fret, you know, try and get the pointy back, maybe change it a bit or something. I don't know. It'd be nice to see that guitar again. I love that guitar. I really did genuinely love that guitar. And uh, it was nice and refreshing at the time, you know, the satin finish on it and everything. But yeah, these guitars look great. Like I say, these are what I call lower tier mid price range guitars, which is usually from, I call that like the 500 mark up to the 1000 pound mark. These are right at the bottom of the mid price range guitar. I think once you get over a thousand pounds, that's your high price stuff. And I think below 500 pound, that's your beginner level stuff. So these are, th these feel like workhorses to me, you know, they look a bit more expensive than they actually are because of the the the, uh, the way they've taped it off and all the cutaways and everything on there and uh, the tops so yeah thank you very much for watching huge thanks to chapman guitars by the time you've seen this video christmas will probably be over i hope you had a good christmas and i hope you have a nice happy new year see you all soon